Gerald Clark in San Diego, California with my wife Krista. Tonight we're going to be doing a short dialogue on the Anunnaki of Nibiru, mankind's forgotten creators, enslavers, destroyers, saviors, and hidden architects of the New World Order. There we are, just pulled off the side of the road off Highway 50 in Kauai. Chris has gone native. <laughs> uh, this is a little scenic overlook that uh, hopefully you can see into the canyon there. Quite cosmic. in the background. Today we're going to talk about the Anunnaki of Nibiru, mankind's forgotten creators, enslavers, destroyers, saviors, and hidden architects of the New World Order. It's a long title, but I wanted to get that in there because it really differentiates my book from where other people have gone. I'm Gerald's wife, and um, I run a vegan blog called Artistic Vegan, and it was actually started um, in, our, in the course of our marriage. We actually met um, doing a trade for structural work and uh, vegetarian cooking at the time. So it encouraged me to create, you know, better meals. So I was getting, so he was getting his money's worth. And um.
the time. <laughs> Need some more of that. Out there. What a neat expanse. Room 79. Water Springs. with artisticvegan.com and welcome to another artistic vegan show today we are going to be making smoked apple sage sausages that are vegan and gluten-free <laughs> Hi 
Hi, it's Krista with ArtisticVegan.com. Move and flow together. First, coming to the front of your mat, into mountain pose. To be discussing the latest intel on the possibility of the return of the Anunnaki. Does the Mayan long count and early Sumerian calendar hold the clues to proving an Anunnaki connection? Is there perhaps a connection between the ancient builders of Mesoamerica and Egypt? The orientation and precise alignment of the Great Pyramids of Giza match many of those seen in Mexico and Central America. With our advanced technology, could we even replicate their building feats today? How many countless writings and relics were lost to these barbaric conquests? The Aztec capital of the city of Tenochtitlan may have fallen in 1521 to Cortes, but the secrets hidden by the world's largest metropolis, Mexico City, was once occupied by advanced beings. first writing my book, The Anunnaki of Buru, in 2013. Today I want to go over something kind of exciting, at least exciting to me. Slowly lower back down. Rotate 30 degrees. On the Russian Jews, the Kazarian Mafia, and their possible connections with this New World Order business happening right before us. So, uh, we have Gerald Clark joining us this evening, and let me get you his bio here. Gerald Clark is a 1994 graduate of the University of California at San Diego, UCSD. Gerald holds an MSEE in Electronic Circuits and Systems and a BS in Computer Engineering, from both from UCSD. Gerald is the author of several papers in the Communications and Electronics field and is well known for his work in the San Diego high technology industry, awarded several patents in the free space optical laser communications field while serving as Vice President of Engineering, LightPoint Communications, Inc. And he has so much data in here, we're going to stream through this here. During the years of 1996 and 2002, working as a telecommunications executive, Gerald's business travels took him to various parts of the world, exposing him to a plethora of cultures, which acted as a catalyst for his research into mankind's earliest technologies and accomplishments, including the cultures of Mesopotamia and the surrounding areas of Turkey, Egypt, Persia, and Iraq, eventually leading to the cuneiform inscribed tablets left by the Sumerians. Knowledge of the Anunnaki here on Earth, both in the ancient past, their presence here and now is being fully disclosed around the world. His hope is that his book will help the billions of primitive workers left to fend for themselves on a hostile planet to find hope that following the great destruction underway wrought by the warring gods of light and dark, a promised peace in the new age of Aquarius is dawning, actually already upon us. And his books are incredible. They're um, accessible on his website. He has the seventh planet, Mercury Rising. It's all available on his website and on Amazon.com. And the Anunnaki of Nibiru, you can access the website, his website at www.geraldclark77.com. And please welcome Gerald R. Clark to the show this evening. Good evening, Gerald. Hey, thanks, Solaris. I want to say a warm welcome to you and all your listeners. Well, it's wonderful to have you back on the show with us, and you sound fantastic. And I hope you've been having a nice holiday season, all that good stuff. And tell everybody what you've been working on recently. Welcome to the Merkaba meditation inspired by Drunvalo Melchizedek. Like the sun, we must breathe, radiating out to all life. And from all life, we will receive our mana. Two thousand and eighteen. Today, I'm going to present uh, some research on Russian collusion, Zion Theater, Pedogate, and the Bannon threat. So let's get started. The twenty fourth, two thousand and eighteen, on Friday. Say hello to everybody, Richie, and uh, uh, your, your mic's picking up everything in the back. So. <laughs> All right, here I am, Richie Barron, San Francisco. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Mastermind Body and Spirit Show. I am your host, Matt Belair. Today's having me. Um, <laughs> you, you have to ask yourself, what's an electrical engineer doing talking about this kind of crazy stuff, right? Mark with you today on behalf of Seventh Planet Broadcasting, and I'm pretty excited to have just released the Odyssey Key screenplay. March 30th, 2018, and you're watching Seventh Planet Broadcasting, and we're joined today with Betty Steele of Astrology with Betty. Hi, Betty. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And I'm 
Uh, very happy to announce that Julian Poulton is going to be working with me again today. And I think we're going to do something a little different, right, Julian? Intr say hello to everybody. I don't want to do a long monologue and not let you talk here. All right. Hello, guys. Yeah, well, um, I think we want to go a bit deeper into certain topics. Greetings, all. It's Gerald Clark with you on January 7th, 2019. 2019 in Jalisco, Mexico, yeah. on behalf of Gravity Body Academy. Hola. <laughs> Okay. Well, first of all, let me just say welcome to you all. Basically, we're going to run through the first segment that's going to talk about the bones of human structure, clean. And this is for this is for this to press the alien. Or you can do it this way, just with your arm. In there, see what's happening? No. Oh, yeah. You can feel the difference. I feel a huge difference. Go with it or go straight back. Inhale your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring your heel toward your glute. On behalf of Gravity Body Academy, this is Jerome Hicks. Is that what you said? Yes, yes sir. Come out here and you see your oh, Gravity Body Academy oh, diploma. Oh, you got to check your alignment out. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, very well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Omar Oida. Yeah. So, there's Omar's graduate, so he's an official community servant, okay? Yeah. Even with the police, right? Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> now I can be proud of that. That's right. Thank you. All right, let's hear it. Lafayette, Louisiana, somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you. Great work. Thank you. I'm excited. Okay. Thank you. Well, well done. Yes. Thank you. We're glad to have you among us as our Gravity Body family. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Lord.
Good job. Good job. Let's hear it for Angel. Gerald, um, that this trip, this this course has been a multi-dimensional, uh, very magical experience for me. Um, it's been out of this world, really. Gerald Clark, este libro está dedicado a mi esposa y alma gemela Crista. Seventh Planet Broadcasting, headlines with a brain. January 21st, 2020. Host, Gerald Clark. Greetings all, it's Gerald Clark, 7th Planet Broadcasting. If like many others around the world, you and your family are quarantined at home until further notice, consider, in only five weeks, two times per week, you and your partner shared the profound and therapeutic experience provided by Gravity Body Structural Academy online courses. goes on to, and we mentioned this earlier, he, he further expounds on distinguishing energy from matter and so I think I've discussed the law of conservation of energy where energy to our knowledge is neither created nor destroyed it just changes state 